we are working on the administrators modules and uh, so far we have added an action filter for authorization now we'll add helper partial views for menu and message labels let me explain what I mean by this before I proceed further there are going to be various pages of the administrator one page will be for like a new customer other page will be for like new invoice for reports also now on each of the pages there is going to be a navigation menu at the top that can take us from this page to this page this page to back or to other pages this menu will remain the same it will remain the same for all the pages so instead of copying and pasting this stuff on all the pages it is better to create a partial view so as to store the markup of this particular portion at one place and reuse it at other places in the project we are going to write a partial view for the menu this is one thing we have to do then various data entry forms will be there or editing forms will be there we generally need to show a message box a message label let us say these message labels will show uh, whether the action succeeded or some error occurred these message labels can also be put into a partial view so that we can change the colors altogether or maybe alter the looks of the message so no, this message as well as the menu they are very good candidates for modularization and we'll add partial views for both of them in the current video lecture this is the area for the administrator and here you have the views folder and there is a shared folder both these are to be used throughout the administrator's area so we should add them to the shared folder right click here add partial page and I'll give it the name ADM and menu and click OK we have to begin writing the markup here I'll fold the solution explorer to the right side section is for the HTML5 story it requires us to put our content into sections so we have done just that and uh, this is navigation font size is 1.5 em margin is 10 px you could have put it in a CSS file also and the style has been inlined here uh, you will have to optimize these things later on sometimes it is good to put them in a CSS file and sometimes it is good to know uh, to inline it you can have a look at the recommendations of Google and Yahoo in that case okay that's not the issue right now so we are having a href is admin by home by index by create customer this uh, will uh, take us to the create customer module of the administrator we could have used at the rate html dot action link also then you have search then you have top 10 customers last 10 invoices and a sign out now we'll be giving these uh, creating these later on search customer controller 
search customer controller with action show top 10 customers invoice controller show last 10 invoices but we have named them right now so that we can later on uh, we don't have to come back and make changes here Uh, what is the advantage of using a here instead of at the rate html dot action link so far as I know putting an image into it will be simply about writing an image tag here but tweaking around the at the rate html dot action link does take time and at the end you might have to come back and modify the code to bring an action link, uh, remove the action link and place this manual code here. We might have to show images here for the search and all. So for that case, we are using an anchor here rather than at the rate html dot action link. Of course, the other option was to write your own html helpers. And there is another reason why this one helps many times, Anchor. If you are going to host it on a subdomain, then this one does the resolution very nicely, very neat. Address bar will be there. But if you use at the rate html dot action link, then it will actually insert the folder for your subdomain into the path your subdomain is in a folder x then it will put x by home by index this one is objectionable so in case of subdomain this is the only option as, as far as I know of course the other option would be to create your own helpers So there are two advantages that I see to the use of anchor tag. One is you can put images here and the second is that it resolves very well for a subdomain. It actually gives a neat URL in the address bar. Okay, the next thing that we are to do is we are to add a partial page for the message also similarly we'll right click here add and call it message and then we can put our code into this one we can write the code here We'll be sending the message in a view bag. So we're writing if not string dot is null or empty view bag dot message. We'll create a view bag variable whenever we have to show a message and fill it. If it is filled, then this markup will appear. Span class is equal to ERR. This ERR class we added in the beginning for red color. This helper we'll use throughout our project. Okay, so far as what we've done right now, we created an areas admin area in the areas folder. Then we went on to write a filter for authorization so that authorization is checked throughout and no unauthorized user is able to enter into the ADM and area and then we have added partial pages for the menu and the message with this in place in our next lecture we will now begin to code the home page for the administrator where he will be creating a new customer close it right now Thanks.